Good, Nigel and Diana from Deny, and welcome to our channel. Today we're in Lincoln, Lincolnshire, for the Lincolnshire Show 2023. Um, I'm here at the Lincoln City bus station, which is a shuttle bus that takes you right up to the showground, and it's only five pound return per adult. And there's a bus, shuttle bus, every 15 minutes. So join me as I take you to Lincolnshire Show. So the bus to the Lincolnshire Showground is opposite the bus station, just outside of the train station. Just spin you around, there's a bit of a queue. It's a five pound per adult return. And there's a bus every 15 minutes. Just outside the Lincoln train station, which is directly opposite the Lincoln Central Bus Station. So just got off the bus, took about 10 minutes from Lincoln Town Centre up to the showground. Five pound return, happy days. Uh, just uh, heading towards the gates, show tickets and check in. The time is 8.53, opened at eight o'clock. Quite a few cars already. You can buy tickets the entrance as well but I was lucky enough to be gifted a ticket and uh, the good thing is uh, Deanna is here at the Lincolnshire show working so hopefully we'll bump into her and she'll say hi white car park KG show me ticket and we're in Happy days. We'll all do programmes as well. Obviously going to have a picture taken with Welcome to Lincolnshire Show 2023. Just noticed at the front you've got Rand Farm. Been there a few times. A few animals on display. Donkey. Let's go and say hello to the animals. And then you've got Roma, the donkey. So this is Roma. Hello, Roma. A bit of love with the donkey. Gary's best side. <laughs> the <laughs> best side. No, I meant your best side. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, my ears out of place. Yeah, that's it, yeah. It's also a crumpet. Golden Guernsey goats. He's going for a nap. He's going for a nap, mate. He's got a few more bunnies. If you've ever been to a uh, Rand Farm and see all these animals, I might even put a link on here. We've been a couple of times, me and Diana. I think you can catch one of them on our vlogs. All right, I'll go for a wander and bring you with me. It's an activity zone. There's a few activities over there. Also got to uh, Lincoln Football Club handing out stuff. And there's wheelchairs. Wheelchair basketball. And then rock climb. Oh look who I've just bumped into. Hi. There you go, Deanna's working hard. At the showground. Yeah, some people have had the day off. I have to work, but I do have my handy fan just in case. Handy fan. <laughs> so me just chilling out. Happy days. Happy days. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. It's later. It's very Oh, place to eat. So 
There's plenty of places to eat around here as well. We're not into the main area yet, so it's a bit quiet around this bit. <laughs> A waggy dog tail store. <laughs> I might go right. There's a few things around here, so we'll, we'll just go this way. Yeah, why not? Oh, it's a simulator over there. There's a few cars on display. You've got that kind of money. Let's go for a wander. There's a few shows on later. Which I'll treat you to. Happy days. Busy cleaning. And more food. Fish and chips. So this is a cattle show area. So it's just got nine, so nothing going on yet, but there is. Some show times on there. Chainsaw sculptures at 10 o'clock. Personally, I wanted the BMX. That's top is Wednesday, so the BMX is at 1.30. So just gonna go for a wander. Over here, you've got School's Challenge, don't know what that is. And over that end, just over there, is a, uh, emergency services might be blue light area spin you around it's lucky you've got uh, road safety bike safe you've got the Lincolnshire police you've got lives over there so this must be the uh, area for blue light I think saving lives stuff like that you've also got Lincoln air ambulance just over there. Well, they haven't got the ambicopter, which would be nice to see. And that bit, yep. So, this must be the safety area. So, going back round that way now, school's challenge, so they must be doing some activities for kids here. Yeah as well. Lincolnshire's Emergency Pub Bike Service. And that. All right, I've just come around the other side. Somebody wants me to take in part in a challenge with the Lincolnshire Police. She says, do you want to leave? Look, my bag's packed already full. She says, oh, you've been busy, haven't you? No, not really. It's got my lunch in. So Heritage is Lincoln. Is it Natural Trust, maybe? Future Nature. Got the army, be the best. That's a big tractor. Whack. I'm just going to take you around this way. Just to show you what's here. The funny thing about this is, you walk past somebody, they give you some merch. I like a bit of merch. Let's grab a bag. If so, Lincolnshire Life magazine. Oh, we'll have one of them if that's possible. Thank you very much. You're very so, Lincolnshire Life magazine. Happy days. Also, you've got uh, the Lincolnshire kitchen. Oh, 
bit of coffee. Well, they must be doing some food demonstrations over there, maybe. Just pop around this bit. I think this is like local produce. Something to eat. No, three samples. I should have brought a lunch, sure. I've had loads of free samples. Just take you down this way a bit. Just so you get a taste of what's around. <laughs> Wellborn's Bakery. Ooh, nice bit of fruit cake. This is what they've got in the food court. I'll just show you the sign. available around here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's getting a bit busy. Everybody's, everybody's having the breakfast. There's a few more around there. <laughs> and you've got this side. This is the first time I've been to this, so I don't know what to expect. Looking forward to the parachutes later. I've set me alarm for it, just in case I'm at the other side of the show. Oh, look at these cakes. Can't beat a nice cake. All right, so we've come out of that food area. If you blink with an eye, there's another food area. What the heck? Oh, you're not going hungry around here. And then you've got the moose, which I think is clothing stores to fly out. Let's just have a quick wander. Apparently the event's over for two days, Wednesday, Thursday. Well, it's Thursday today, but they're expecting 60,000 people to come, which I can quite believe. And that's, so it's uh, day two, so 30,000 down, 30,000 to go. So yeah, it's a food stores if you want to buy merch. I'm just here for the freebies. Always like a freebie. So I've swapped the shades over because the sun went behind a cloud and it's come out again. So there's a, quite a bit to see actually. A lot merry go round. Some more stores. What's this one? One Lincoln shirt, think bigger. Whatever that may be. Over here, oh, a man might give me a bag. You never know. Look around here. I'm going to have a picture with this one now. Looks like a lady's going to play some music. The Bonnie D. Cleethorpes Coast Light Railway. So this must be the area promoting Lincolnshire. Yeah. Nothing like a fun fair. Oh, Deanna would love that. Carousel. Have a ride on the carousel. Big wheel. See all the bugs. It's warming up. It's quite a lot to see. A lot to see. If 
if you like your flowers. British wholesaler. Some beautiful roses. Plenty of things to see and plenty of things to do. So if you're thinking of coming next year, this year's tickets were £22 if you buy them online. It's over two days. So next year it is June the 19th and the 20th. Which uh, we're hoping to come next year. Probably you don't get anything. So if you come next year and you see us, come over and say hi. There's another stage over there, so let's go and see what's happening over there. So over there, you've got a bandstand. Some uh, child just fell on the floor. It's a bandstand show times. Thursday today, so I'll just zoom in on. Right, so I found the farmer's floats. Uh, apparently they're Disney themed, so I'm just gonna take you a wander around. Not sure how many there is. I can see four so far. I don't know whether they're gonna do a parade or what, but I'll show you around. First one in front is Pixar. There you go, Heckington and Sleaford Young Farmers Club presents Disney's Pixar Cars. And there's two made All driven by tractors. Just take you around to the other one. So this one you've got, and this is made by Corringham. And this must be up. Yeah, because he's got Ellie and Carl. They're quite cool. So you've got the up. Balloons and on here, Brig Young Farmers presents Cinderella of the carriage. Over this side, you've got Coningsby Young Farmers Club. Looks to me like Star Wars. Oh, there's Star Wars 1977 to 2009. And then you've got a few more over there. I'll just head over there now. So over this side, you've got Market Raisins, The Jungle Book. And next to it, you've got Moana. That's the Lauf Young Farmers. The Moana. Just round the corner, you've got Spalding, and that's Sword and the Stone. Yeah. 
There you go, sword and stone. And then you've got Lion King in front. This one, it's number five. Oh, look, you've got Dumbo. And on this side, you've got Mrs. Potts. So, obviously, that's Beauty and the Beast. Oh, somebody's draped a pirate flag on Beauty and the Beast. Oh, no. <laughs> this one, you've got Frozen Horncastle. Let it go, let it go. So these are young farmers' uh, floats at the Lincolnshire Show, frozen. Then you've got Tangled. She's just around here, it's Tangled. The Snuggly Duckling. And then finally, oh, one of my favourites, Rugby. Disney presents Pirates of the Caribbean. So that's why the pirate flag was over the other side. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. So there you have it. That's the. Um, Young farmers floats. Yeah, they said it was on the roadside, but uh, I thought, well, I'll have a wander around, see if I can see him. And we did. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, gonna go for another wander around now. This place is massive. All right, so where was I? Well, I didn't see that vintage car there. So this is World Leader Paintball. Paintball, buddy. You've got random people I know. There's uh, lions. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah. Normally I see you outside of That's right. <laughs> A day off today. I'm working. I know, looks like it. <laughs> see you later. That's the guy that uh, comes in my workplace. It's a vintage car over there. You can see it. Oh, it's a fancy hot tub. Some more stores around there. What's this one? Samples the splendour of Scotland. Thank you, I'll have one of them. Thank you. So this is your OFest UK. Let me go and see if the band started. Oh, these are quite pretty. Beer guard. So we're just about to listen to the Lincoln Minister School. As far as I'm aware, it's up near the Lincoln Cathedral. And if they'll give us a few tunes, enjoy. And we're going to be performing a selection of songs for you that we've learnt over the past two years. Um, so first up we have Seasons of Love.
part of the uh, BBC Lincolnshire Roadshow area. Hopefully there's tortoises there. And cardboard cut out of Peter Lee. Oh, I'll have a picture on the safe. We're over this side. We've got Doctor Who's TARDIS. And the Dalek. And then Peter Levy, which I've just had a picture. I'll put it in the top so you can see it. There you go. So in this time we're doing food demonstration. Which we obviously don't have another sales for there, sorry. <laughs> we, you can actually buy from us. Um, but we begin with 100 grams of basic rub. Um, might notice I've not told you the exact combination of this because so we do it for you. But there's um, probably sort of 50% sugar, 25% salt, and then it's a combination of your herbs and spices. There's no right out. We'll have 100 grams of the, uh, the sea salt. You can't see today. Yesterday you could see without these here. I'm actually using my daughter's scales. Um, cracked black pepper. Much better the cracked black pepper because those the big granules, same with the salt, hold on to the meat and create the bark on the brisket. Um, so it holds the smoke in, all the flavours. The thing about the rubs, so you might think there's quite a lot of flavours going in there. Yes, to a certain extent, but the intention of the rubs is to protect the meat and bring the, the flavours of the meat out. So we're picking out the, the bitter, the sweet notes, the smokiness. It's all to emphasise that. Okay, so in there show. we've got our basic rub, uh, the salt, a little bit much if it just caught together. So we would generally shift it to cayenne pepper just for a little bit of extra heat in there. Just a trace, 10 grams perhaps. Right, so just heading up to the main ring because my watch is just buzzed, so there must be something I want to watch. And I think it's like horse trials, I'm not sure. That's the members' lawn. I think at uh, 10.40 there's going to be a fly pass by the Spitfire, I'm not sure. So I'm going to head to the skies and uh, look out for it. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause, give them a cheer, your private drive champion, your Concorde d'Elegance winner, it is Oliver Salter and Tony. Tricks. These are the tricks we learned back in the day. We 
main stage. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of a uh, motocross stunt show. Just going to head round to the other side now and see what's there. So hopefully you're still following along and enjoying the day like I am. The Lincolnshire Beekeepers Association. 
Here's the queen for you. Left hand side, little. Wow. The red dot. Babies, they're calm. They love these. I'm glad he's in there with them and not me. The show arena. Oh, those cute little ponies. Oh, they're just adorable. Right, so I'm just heading back to the main arena. Let's see what is going on. So there's so many arenas, I'm a bit confused. Let's go over to this one over here. Uh, it's called the Ancaster Inn. And there's some horse jumping. They're a bit bigger than the ponies we just seen. I don't realise how much, so much there is to do over here. Right, so off I go again, back to the main arena and see what's happening there. Not sure when they're going to do the parachute jump, but uh, hopefully soon. Oh, you can tell it's a uh, sunny day. It was fans. won by William Smith and Carmelo Temptation. Amazon. Number 12. For three sets. Second, Rosie Twist and Davis and Shiver of Number 14. And third, oh, Andy, really? number 11, Isla Morgan. So, yeah, famous size. Luna Dragonfly. Like I said, I've got it from Amazon. I'll put the link down below. Family, if you're interested, just have a little bet. There are all sorts of colours, and it wasn't very expensive. It was about seventeen pounds, and it's a USB. So happy day. They're going to start to head out of that plane in just a moment's time and we'll see them immediately open their parachutes as they do so. They're on the way down already. Those parachutes are open and the first manoeuvre that they will perform is what is called a carousel. The first of two manoeuvres on their route down to the Clans Design main arena. Jump down the plane and heading to the arena. Oh, 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 oh. 
There's two hanging back very slightly because they're going to be deploying the flags en route down to the arena here this afternoon. So starting with a carousel before we see them then move into the Sabre, jumping from three and a half thousand feet. That there that we see the carousel manoeuvre. A huge amount of accuracy, a huge amount of skill, and of course a huge amount of trust in their fellow parachutists on the way down. Changing from the carousel on the right. The directional change there. All the way down, taking directions from the coach guided as well by the drop zone safety officers out there in the Kranz Design main arena. They're following the smoke canisters that are out there. You'll see the two crosses as well. There's a green cross and a yellow cross. That is so these parachutes can land safely. Half will land towards the green cross. The other half will land towards the yellow. From the carousel to the sabre, and the volume. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can clap and you can cheer as they make their way down to the Grand Design Main Arena. Landing first, flight Sergeant Lyons, followed by Sergeant Gilloy. Sergeant Lynch touches down. Sergeant Coleman Moffat, followed by Flight Lieutenant Reed and Corporal Finch. And on route down now, the two flag bearers. The ensign flag with Sergeant Collins and the Union Jack with Sergeant Ashelby. Give them all a round of applause. Great to have them with us here at the Lincoln City Show. Ladies and gentlemen. So they're just setting up for more horse trials. And then this is the Lincolnshire Fire and Rescue Band. around to the arena and see what's happening. We're back to this arena. And there's just one horse. So far so good. And it's only eight minutes past one. Like I said, they're just setting up the main arena for a horse show or trials. I'm just going to head round to the other arenas, see what's cracking off. But there is so much to do. Before I finish though, I shall take you around all the tractors and the combine harvesters and stuff like that at the end of the day, because it's the Lincolnshire show. It's all about agriculture. Let's go and see some animals. 
looking red. Well, it's a bit cooler in here. for the best anyone? Some more black and white ones. Reminds me of the gel ones. Some Clifton Hood. This one's Aberdeen Angus. That's what I want to do, mate. Just sit down there and chill. Jerseys. Everyone's having a stretch. Wait, that one's got some horns. Oh, little baby. And over here, you've got the jerseys. enjoyed that little tour of some cows. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to see what they've got over here now because there's some more tents. Why not? So I don't know what's in these ones but we'll have a look. It's a bale of hay. Hey, hey. Yeah, some widdies for things. Oh, the all the pigs. Oh, he's having a nice rest. Nice and breezy in here. Some trophies, aren't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one's snoring. Mm -hmm. This one's uh, must be royal. few more over here. Oh, it's a, is it goat? Or is it sheep? I'm just panting. YouTube. Here you go. Nice pose. Yeah, just keep, just keep going. And over it, you've got some more. Oh, I don't think it is. Oh, this 
woolly ones here. Oh, have a shake. That's it, mate. Have a shake. In the Waddingham vlog. There's a few more this side. I've never seen so many animals. It's like being a zoo. And that's just the guests. No, just joking. So there are 30,000 people here today. 30,000. This is the Lincolnshire show. A 10 minute drive away from Lincoln. enough sheep and pigs for the moment let's go and see what's over there uh, it just says masons uh, judgings uh, last judgings first second and third so i don't know what's over here we'll take you around why not so there's a few more goats to what for a minute to what for you mate Oh, well, I don't know where I am, just in a bit of a field somewhere. Well, I can see the clock over there, so not far from the other arena. So, uh, hope you like it so far. Like I said, if you're going to come to the Lincolnshire show next year. It's on the 19th and the 20th of June, which is usually a Wednesday and a Thursday. Right, so whenever the music builds up, we're gonna let them out. It's uh, the three and four, Steve. No, not that one, not that one. Uh, that, I'll be Grace, we're letting Grace out again. <laughs> yeah, three and four, not now, not now. Here we go. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to introduce you to two of my personal favourite birds. They're all my favourites to me, I'll say that about every single one. But I would like to introduce you to the wonderful, wonderful, simply, simply beautiful Wallace and Gromit. Get him out, Steve. There's Wallace and here's Gromit. Two beautiful Lana falcons flying together at the same time. What possibly can go wrong? Quite a lot. Let's do this anyway. Come on! And I'm going to let the music just do the talking for these guys. But as we get towards the end of the music, I'm going to ask you to help me call these down. So just remember, after the count of three, we're going to shout the word ho. Just remember that. We are pretty much ready to get our show underway. The lads are just going to have one quick jump on the ramp to make sure we've got the transition on the takeoff just perfect. And then we're pretty much ready to go. It's good to see the crowd here. It's built in anticipation for this second show. The first one was pretty good. The crowd was pretty loud. And the riders were on point. And it looks like there's quite a few of that have come to watch. So it should be a good one. Throughout our show, there's going to be an opportunity to get your hands on some freebies. We've got some signed baseball caps here. They're going to go out to the crazy, noisy people in our crowd. Are there any crazy, noisy people out there? Yay! Okay, one or two this side, quite a few. Not so many that side. That's the old corner over there. They're just chilling in the sun, working on their tan. Right then, DJ, can we have some music, please? Perfect. Right then, lads, are we happy with the ramp? They are happy. 
Right then, crowd. Are you guys ready for the show? The beautiful Mr. George Stumble. Thank you very much. BMX stunt display. Uh, just going to head over to Diana again. As it's lunchtime, it's uh, currently three minutes to two, and there's still lots more to do. Oh, look who's joined me! Hi guys! Diana. I'm on my lunch now, so I'm having a wander. I'm having a wander. A wander. I thought we had a wander. With my Pepsi Max. With my Pepsi Max. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got loads to walk around yet. Yeah. I've not seen anything apart from Diana's not seen anything apart from the, the inside of a tent. Inside of a tent and the toilet. And the toilet. <laughs> Happy days. So we just had lunch. Brought her own. Little band. Oh, oh, there's a band over there. Spin you around. Okay then, Katie, she wants to come in. <laughs> 
So Deanna's just gone back to work. Well, I just take you back around. I'm just gonna spin you around now because some horse trials going on. Some up here. So this is the Ancaster ring. This one's the Welton ring. Let's see if Ancaster horse is going out. This is the Lindsay Ring timetables showing what's on. Right, we're just going to have a look around the tractors. As is the Lincolnshire Show Agricultural. So I'm just spinning it around now so we can see some equipment. If you've been there. We also watched a vlog last night. Um, and he's also on YouTube as well, so I might put his link in, see if we can find him. How'd they come up with these things, I'll never know. That's Austin Spray Cup. They're monsters of a machine, aren't they? Size of an aircraft. A few more over there. And this is why. Oh, look. Electronic lawnmower. What an easy life. God, look at the size of that one. Combine harvester. Well, I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Ch -ch -ch. But you're all sticking along now. Look at the size of that. Humongous. Humongous. There you go, if you like trucks as well. Oh, cars. 
the lorry's over there. This place is massive. Just gonna swing around to this way and go this way. See what's down here. Got some JCBs. When I see JCB, it always reminds me of Orton Towers. Wow. That is one monster. The size of that. The size of a plane. Look at the wheels. Wow. This place is amazing. in the Surrey Driving Association Championship here this afternoon. Just 14 years of age is Lily in her first season with the Surrey Driving Association. You may well see them turn inside back to the gate at three. So far, so good though. Nothing to add a single stand for Lily Rose Owen and Rhubarb and Custard. They made a very good start to the drive here. Now for the box, 6A, B and C. She enters on the left. And so Tony's to the right, just a little bit of a miscommunication there, she's going to bring them back. Just got the concentration and the attention back of the two ponies there, Rhubarb and Custard. Lily, who started driving at the age of 11 back in 2020, she helped her dad break these ponies in. They will both drive and the harness as singles and pairs. She's out of that box. Using up her own time there, so nothing to add at the moment for Lily Rose Owen, Rhubarb and Custard through that smile. And A, B, C and D, and that's when you see the groom on the back really working hard, leaning from the left. Oh, some vintage. Nineteen hundreds. Wow, that's old. So we continue on. Rural transport, Lancashire ship. Got good air conditioning, but it's windows down. And you've got some more vintage vehicles over here. The old buses, all oh, made before. <laughs> Did she? That's great. <laughs> Cars around that side. Mm -hmm. 
these old milk churns. Cram everything in today, haven't I? Vintage vehicles, tractors, skydivers, music, hot walker chask. Perfect weather. Lincolnshire Show 2023. <laughs> How about you? Yes, that's uh, Lincolnshire show done. It's been gorgeous weather. Seen a lot, there's still lots to see. We're running out of time. So, uh, yeah, like I said, if you're gonna come to the Lincolnshire show next year, it's on the 19th and 20th of June. So, uh, I'll see you when I get to the main gate. Right, guys, so uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your day here at the Lincolnshire showground. It's time for me to head off back home. The uh, vlog will be on on a Sunday, as always. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. I think we've got Alton Towers and Warwick Castle and a few other adventures. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.